but Sharon Bo that I'm in DC in front of the Dirksen building just dropped off a brochures for the Republican members of the the Senate Intelligence Committee to ask about Stephen Preston of the CIA also to expose that Mitt Romney tag Romney and the Hasen family do business in Iran in the process I went and had coffee and guess who's at the place Tom Ingram yeah, he's talking to some probably a lobbyist or somebody they look very nice except he was not wearing socks. Now, I'd like to say something. It is officially autumn, and that's breaking a law. Well, it's a fashion law. But, you know, you really, Mr. Ingram, you should be wearing socks after fall starts. Actually, you know, in the U.S. Senate, I think it's nice to wear socks with shoes that are business shoes. It just looked odd. Well, anyway, sir, you were very polite. You took my brochure, so thank you very much. So now, what I'd like is for respect for the taxpayer. That means I need you to go right to Mr. Corker's office, Mr. Alexander Lamar, Lamar Alexander, whatever his name is. Yeah, I met him. I spent a whole day with him in 1992 when he was the surrogate speaker for Bush. He was actually very polite. And that day, he did not wear the checkered shirt. And I asked him why, and he said it's because he was in California and he heard that we were fashion conscious. Well, I guess we are, because I'm all obsessed about Tom Ingram's socks. Sir, really, wear the socks, okay? Talk to Ed Gillespie. I mean, he was wearing polyester pants and polyester was out of fashion. Okay, it's time for Republicans to care about fashion. And also, for the Republican leaders to stop doing business with Iran. Okay, great. Y'all have a great day.